Okay, in part B of example 1.7, we're going to be calculating the current through each branch. It's important to note that the total current is equal to I1 plus I2, and the total current is equal to I3, and the total current is equal to I4. Now, to calculate the total current, we use Ohm's law. Current is directly proportional to voltage, but inversely proportional to resistance. The total voltage is given to us, it's 180 volts, it's a DC circuit. The resistance total from the previous question, or the previous video, is uh, 55,143 ohms. Don't forget to round off to three decimal places. So therefore, the total current is going to be 3,264 amps. And it's important to note that um, the total current is the same as the current through the third resistor and it's the same as the current through the fourth resistor. Right, now to calculate I1 and I2, we're first going to have to determine the volt drop across the parallel branch. Remember, voltage stays the same in parallel. So to calculate the parallel branch, we're going to say I total times the resistance of the parallel branch. Okay, so the total current is 3,264. And to calculate the resistance of the parallel branch, I'll use the same method. We say 1 over R1 plus uh, 1 over R2 all to the power of minus 1. And if you work out the volt drop across the parallel branch, it's going to be 55,955. Okay, now that we've got the volt drop across the parallel branch, we can go ahead and calculate I1. So I1 will be V parallel over R1. So the volt drop across the parallel branch, 55,955, and the value of R1 is uh, 30 ohms so therefore the current through the first resistor will be 1,865 amps okay we're almost finished now to calculate the current through the second resistor once again we use the volt drop across the parallel branch voltage stays the same in parallel and we divide by the second resistor Voltage in parallel is 55,955 and the value of the second resistor is 40 ohms and therefore the current through the second branch will be 1,3999 amps. Don't forget to round off to three decimal places. So therefore I1 plus I2 should be equal to the total current. Okay, thanks very much for watching this video.